different direction. Indeed. Actually, let me go ahead and get my timer started. I'm starting about 10 seconds late on the timer, but that's okay. Here we go. Ship number one is the Mauler 8, piloted by Nietzsche's mustache. It is a galleon with the double watch a short side. Long side is, again, the lumber and the heavy flak with a Hades and a flare. Ship number two is a Spire, uh, the Bjork, piloted by uh, Infinity Omelette. It is that same lumber Spire we've been seeing all SCS-112 long with the double Artemis and the Gatling on the bottom. Take it away. Ship number three is uh, Goldfish. It's a Sorrow. It's a Hawaja fish with uh, Gatling Kara uh, on the side, and it's piloted by Finks. And last but not least, we got the Cali. It's a Mobula, piloted by Arius. It's uh, double Artemis bottom. What? Yes, double Artemis bottom, uh, Gatling right, uh, Flare left, and Hades on top. As we have action already underway, the action is already coming in fast and furious. As the Sorrow was balloon broken very quickly, as the Spire looking for the Goomba. Spire looking for the Goomba already, not picking it up, but definitely getting the Sorrow's attention. They do pick up the balloon again. A great job by that Spire putting a ground and pound strategy on the Sorrow. However, that Hwacha fish has the uh, Bjork lined up. This is not a good spot for the Spire. However, they do snipe the Hwacha out and pick up a break. They might be able to salvage this situation as the Hydro comes out from the Bjork. They definitely do not want the Sorrow to get above them. If the Sorrow gets above them, they are in bad shape. Meanwhile, the Kali has been hullbroken. Clan Clan with a great first engagement once again on uh, Stormriders. Clan Clan really bringing their A-game here today. At SCS number 112, Sorrow has been hullbroken once again. We'll try to clean up this camera angle in just a second. There we go. As the Kali moving in, Kali has moved in very close here to the Spire, picking up a bit of a ram right there. They're getting in very close as the Sorrow has been hole broken and the Watch is coming out picking it up as Clan Clan 1-0 in favor of Red as two minutes have gone by. Kali in the worst possible position right now in between the broadside of the Galleon and the Spire. However, they do have height on the Spire so it's only one ship to worry about and that is a very dangerous ship to worry about. The double broadside Galleon. Double Hawacha broadside. Double yes. Hawacha broadside Galleon. Yes, you know what I meant. Meanwhile, Kali trying to juke with balloon usage. Doing an okay job of it so far. However, that balloon is dangerously low, and there they go, 2-0 red. I gotta say, Clan Clan is really bringing it today. This is a strong showing by Clan Clan. They ain't messing around with those lumbers. If I remember correctly, if Clan Clan wins, this will be their first SCS win since SCS 78, the one I marked for them uh, way back when. When you were still young. When I was still young and naive, yes. So I and now, head, and now I'm slightly yes, less young, but still just as naive, right? Oh, I wasn't gonna say that. Uh... Sounds no, you're being nice. No, you're being nice. Of course, of course, the audience will tell me, ah, oh, that lasagna scrub. He knows absolutely jack shit, right? Well, that 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 is the community's uh, uh, job, after all. Yes, the community's job is to remind me what a scrub I am. There's a balloon pop on the collie. Sorrow, meanwhile, uh, uh, putting a hydro into play to get into position for, against the Mauler. They do just that, picking up. Beautiful job picking up all, actually, three of the downstairs guns plus the Hades. Great job by the Sorrow picking up those guns. Sorrow in no danger right now as the Hades comes out on the Mauler. Looks like they really want that Mauler right now. As the Spire moves in, they're going to be inside arming time of that, uh, of that lumber if they keep going for the Sorrow. However, they're going for the Kali. They're showing no fear with the, uh, with the, uh, Sorrow showing no fear right now. In fact, going in on the Bjork, a great play right there. A great play by the Sorrow, picking it up. 2-1, uh, Stormriders is on the board with four and a half minutes gone by in this match. Kali now trying to put the Hades down on the hull as the Sorrow looking to move in on the Mauler. He's got that long, no, he's got the, uh, he should have the long side on him. That's a great position for the Sorrow. Yeah, that is the long... Uh, no, that's a short side on the Sorrow, my bad. I, I am dyslexic here today. As the Kali is taking a pounding from the Hades. He is balloon broken. Trying to get the Kali out of the picture is the Mauler, which is a good call here. 
and leave it into a 1v1 situation. The Sorrow is desperately trying to get the hull break. They do pick up the hull break. Uh, they pick up about... They've got 55% perma uh, left for the Mauler as the Spire desperately trying to get back in the picture. Smart move by the Bjarkil to not spawn close by. Agreed as the Mauler is about to go down and there they go. 2-2 two -two all tied up. Bjork now, so now probably the Spire has enough to time to uh, retreat. Uh, yes, and they have hard cover too. Probably there's, it is a long range ship anyway, so uh, there was not much use, uh, especially as a Spire, to be uh, yes. close by tanking shots. And the Galleon will respawn at around the same time the Goldfish gets into play. Uh, if the Spire does a good job juking one Watcher, they should be okay. Mauler just spawns in. Uh oh, that's a bad spot for the Spire. Good uh, hydro attempt. Yes, they only lose the lumberjack and the hull. About the best they could ask for in that situation. Sir looking to pull a tiger uppercut, not uh, not getting the uh, perma hull though. Meanwhile, the Kali really doing a number on the uh, Bjork, picking up perma hull, almost picking up balloon as well. The follow up watch, uh, the armor comes back up just in time. Kali looking to finish it up, and they do three two as uh, Stormriders takes the lead. Looks like Stormriders is finally taking Clan Clan very seriously here. Looks like they got their game faces on, uh, Stormriders does, as Clan Clan needs three kills to win SCS number 112. If they do not do so, we have a second uh, Grand Finals match. As Stormriders needs two kills to force that, as Mauler has been completely and utterly disabled with all engines down, three guns down. All the important guns that they needed to disable have been disabled. They are balloon broken. As the Spire comes back into play, can't blame them for that call. As a little yeah, they... over seven minutes have gone by, as the Mauler has been hole broken. Mauler almost dead, and Kali is hole broken. Bjork looking to pick up Kali very quickly. They need to. They need to, to have any chance in this match. Meanwhile, Soro looking ground and pound. They do so for two Stormriders. Kali has been hole broken. Bjork needs to pick this up quickly if they want to survive. They're not going to survive this 2v1. Spire is a glass cannon build. Uh oh. Here comes a Sorrow. Kali's been balloon broken. They might have an opportunity to turn this into a 1v1. However, I believe I spoke too soon. As Sorrow's looking for the Ram kill to finish it off. No, they're going to get the side of the Spire. Side of the Spire. A flare goes out. They pick up a flare on the hull. Two flares on the hull of the Bjork. And there's the kill. We have. We are going to have a second Grand Finals match. That match finished up in just about eight minutes. A